we magnify you, oh God. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God. Thank you, Lord. I decrease, oh, God. That you increase, oh, God. Where my mouth to only say the things that you would have me to say, oh, God. Let our hearts be receptive to your word, oh, God. That we may receive it, oh, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way, oh, God. Have your way, oh, God. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. Thank you, Jesus. It's already done. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Love you, baby, God. Thank you, Jesus. It's already done. Thank you, Jesus. We're here lifted up. Oh, it's all over the done. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Rejoice in your maker. It's all over the done. Rejoice in your redeemer. It's all over the done. Rejoice in your remaker. Rejoice in your strong tower. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. It's all over the done. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that it's already done. Oh, yes, it's already done.
Heaven and good. Heaven and good. Heaven and good. <laughs> good. Good pain, all of this. Favor upon his life. But Nehemiah began to hear about, and he asked uh, some of the guys that came from over in Israel, he asked them what was going on, what was what. And when he heard that it had been torn down, and that it was in rubbish. It was no houses, it was no stores, it was no temple, it was nothing. It was just rubbish. And when Nehemiah heard about this, Nehemiah went and got on his face. Oh, no. And he began to cry out unto God. He began to cry out unto God. And then after he had cried out and he prayed, and, and, and he got permission from the king to take a leave of absence. Yes. God had gave him favor with the king, and when God gave him favor with the king, and the king said, yeah, you can go, but the king didn't send him empty-handed. The king sent him with, with, with possession. He sent him with uh, protection of the very things that he was going to need. But Nehemiah began to really look and, and, and see how things was destroyed. As he went back to Israel, he began to walk around for those three days not saying nothing. And he would look and he would see all the temple tore down, the houses tore down, all of this rubbish and all of this. But Nehemiah had a vision. Nehemiah already seen that thing being built up. Man. So he, he, he began to say, oh, he, as, as they walked through for those three days, Nehemiah didn't do nothing, didn't say nothing. He just walked and he just looked around to assess, oh, yeah. to, to, to see what the damage was and to see how the people were scattered. But Nehemiah went with a plan. He continued to go. Nehemiah said, okay, we got to build these walls up. Oh, yeah. We, you, you got to, we got to get the people. They got to build their houses up. The temple got to be built up. We got to build these walls up. Oh, yeah. Nehemiah came and his mind, he left his comfort zone. Yes. He left his position. He left his wealth. He left the, the, oh, the, the palace. Oh God. For God now. Oh, yes. He did it for God. That's the reason why he kept saying, remember me, God. Come on now. Oh, yeah. He said, remember God. He, he, he said, remember me, God. Every time Nehemiah would say, remember me. Now, why would you tell the God of all knowing and all seeing to remember you? God want to be reminded of his word. God want to be reminded of his promise. God want you to remind him oh, of yeah. what you have done for him oh, and, yeah. and, and your good deeds. But Nehemiah kept saying, remember me, God. Remember me. Be mindful of me, God. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Call to mind everything that I have done. So as Nehemiah left his, left that, 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 that good place, that comfort place. Oh, yeah. And, and to go out there to deal with rubbish. Oh, yeah. And to go out there to deal with some people that might didn't want to hear anything that he had to say. But Nehemiah said, you know what? We got to gather the people up. We got to gather them up. And Nehemiah, as he kept going on, he kept being prosecuted. Uh, opposition kept coming. But Nehemiah kept on building. He, he would say, God, remember me, God. And it, when his enemies came up against him, he said, God, remember Tobiah. Remember Sambalit. Remember the prophetess Nodiah. He said, remember them, the prophets, God, that come to do me harm. He said, remember them. Oh, yeah. He will always say, God, bring to mind my enemies also. You think God ain't going to deal with your enemies? Oh, yeah. All you got to do is stay focused. You don't look at your enemies. You look at your God. Oh, yeah. And you say, God, remember God. Oh, yeah. Remember how they treated me. Remember what they did to me, God. But then I say, God, remember me. Remember me. Oh, remember yes. me. Oh, As he began to go on and go on. Yes. And, and, and then they began to build things up. And opposition kept on coming. The enemy kept on raising the head, raising the head up to try to get him to stop doing the work. Oh, yeah. Nehemiah didn't stop the work and he didn't allow the people to stop the work. Oh, yeah. He did not allow the people to come down and sit down and say, I forget about it. No, Nehemiah said, no, keep on building. Oh, yeah. Keep on building. Keep. I know that it look bad. I know that you don't see nothing out of oh, this yeah. rubbish, but this thing gonna be built up. Oh, so they done. begin to build it up. Because oh, yeah. Nehemiah saw that thing already oh, yeah. done. Oh, yeah. He wasn't oh, yeah. walking by he was walking by faith. He 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 know what was there. He seen all the rubbish. He seen how how it looked, and, and the people thought that it was impossible. Even his enemies said it, it, it was impossible. If they build up something, a fox get on there, it's gonna turn down. But he did not know God. Oh, yes. But God, but God, oh, yes. God, God said it's gonna be built up, not by my nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. It's gonna be done. It's oh, the Lord's doing. Oh yes. Oh, yes. You got to know. 
That is the Lord's doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, Nehemiah had already uh, 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 adopted uh, uh, when they say in Colossians 3, 17, and whatever you do in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord. Do it as unto the Lord. In his name. In his name. Oh, yeah. So when you do something for somebody, God, I'm doing this as unto you. Oh, yeah. I'm doing it as unto you. Because then you don't got to worry about that thing coming to bite you. You ain't got to worry about them. They, they you trying to stab you your back. You ain't got to worry about they don't give this back to you. God, I did that unto you. Yeah, God, remember me, God. Remember when I gave this. Remember when I helped them. Remember when I did this, God. Remember this. When I forgave them, God, oh, remember yes. this. Oh, yes. Even when they didn't forgive me, remember when I forgave God. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, See, God, yes. the Lord will remember you. He will. And you you got to know. You, you said, well, it's taking too long. Look, they was going through a process. It was taking long because some stuff you want it quick and you want it to happen quick you want to an answer quick you want God to just come down and straighten us up quick but everything got a process oh, yeah. and as he was really building them up as they were building he was building their faith up to I mean, to take something that's rocks and rubbish to take something and then start building from that he was teaching them something oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah it ain't what it looked like because when you look at God that thing look already done oh, yeah. it look already complete already beautiful. Oh, yeah. I know you see the ugliness of it now. Oh, yeah. I know you see the rubbish of it now, but when you look it's at God, that thing done. is already oh, yeah. done. Oh, yeah. It's already complete. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. God see your work. Yeah. He see your tears. He see your prayers. Oh, yeah. Nehemiah kept going. Nehemiah said they tried to get me off the wall. And he said, look, now remember Nehemiah took a leave of absence to help them build up. And when they build their houses up, they build the temple up, and they build all of this up. Guess what? They turned Nehemiah, after all of this was done, after all of this was completed, Nehemiah said, it's time for me to return back to the palace, back to the king. I told the king I was coming back. I'm going back. So Nehemiah left there, went back to the king. Faithful. Faithful. Because he told the king, I'm going to return. I'm going to turn back. So he went back. After he felt like everything was already done, everything already completed, the people houses already built, he went back. Lord. And when he went back, he stayed a while, but then he returned back to Jerusalem. To Jerusalem oh, yes. <laughs> to check on things. When he came back, the very one that he had put in position, the priest, Elisha had allowed the enemy to move in to the temple, Tobiah. He moved the enemy and his stuff in God's house. Oh, yes. When Nehemiah see this, this made him very angry. Very, it, it made him very bitter. Like, how in the world could you move the enemy in? Come on now. Oh, yes. But Elisha was doing his family a favor. He was giving them somewhere to stay and move them into the temple. I don't know if he was intimidated of Tobiah. I don't know. But he moved him in. But when Nehemiah seen that, that did something to him. Like, no, how are you going to keep God's stuff out and move the enemy's stuff back oh, in? Yes. Oh, God. When he did this, Nehemiah said, no, the enemy's stuff got to get out. He, he kicked Tobiah out. Oh, yeah. And he kicked all Tobias stuff out. Oh, yeah. When the enemy tried to come up and move in, or oh, you yeah. know that the enemy stuff there, you got to kick his stuff out. You got to move God's stuff back in, move prayer back in, move worship back in, move praise back in, move the word back in, move faithfulness back in, oh, yeah. serve it back in, move it back into God's house. Oh, yeah. And remove the enemy stuff. Oh, yeah. Remove it out of God's house. So when, when, when Nehemiah threw his stuff out, Nehemiah said, we need to cleanse. We need to cleanse the temple. Since the enemy's stuff is out, we need to go through here and purge and cleanse and purify. Yes, Lord. So after they did all of this, Nehemiah turned around and put the Levites, put, put the singers, the Levites, all of them back in their position. Worship, oh yes. He said, you know what? Worship got to return to God's house. Oh, yeah. Praise got to return to oh, God's yeah. house. Oh, yeah. You should leave worship and praise to try to go make yourself busy with other things. Oh, yeah. you, 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 should, you shouldn't remove prayer to try to go make yourself busy in other things. He said, all of this 
got to come back. He said, I'm, I'm positioned. It back in God's house. It got to come back into God's house. You got to know that God will remember you. Nehemiah began to say this around about seven times in now. this chapter. <laughs> remember me, my God. For the good accords to all. He said, everything that I have done, my good deeds in Nehemiah 5, 19. He said, my good deeds, everything that I've done, God, remember me. Remember me. So you got to remind God. Yeah, 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 yeah. You think it ain't going to happen, but when you continue to trust God and continue to stay busy in God, it will happen. Okay. And Nehemiah 6 and 14, he said, my God, this is when he told God to remember. Remember Tobias and Valley, according to their works in the prophetess Nodiah and the rest of the prophets who would have made me afraid. My enemies that come to make me afraid, that come to lie and, 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 and come up against me. He said, remember them. God going to remember your enemies. Oh, yeah. You don't got to deal with them. God will remember your enemies. Oh, yeah. And Nehemiah 13 and 22, he said, and I commanded the Levites that they should cleanse themselves and that they should go and guard the gates to sanctify the Sabbath day. He said, remember me, oh my God, oh, yeah. concerning this. Also, inspire me according to the greatness of your mercy. Nehemiah kept saying, God, remember me. Oh, yeah. Remember me. Remember me. And oh, Nehemiah 13 and 29, he said, remember them, oh my God, because they have defiled the priesthood. Now he's still dealing with the enemies. Oh, he's yeah. telling God. See, you got to allow God, and, and he was in a place a, 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 a prayer, and he always said, God, be mindful. <laughs> yes, Lord. Be mindful of me. Yeah. God, just take a trip down memory lane and think about when I did this, God. Oh, yes. when, I, when I did this, re recollect, God, the very things that I have done in, 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 in your service, oh God. Yeah. And Nehemiah 13 and 29, he said, remember them, oh my God. Because they have no, okay, I just read that. Nehemiah 13 and 31, he said, And for the wood offering in the times appointed in the first fruits, remember me, O oh God, oh, yes. for the good. He said, remember me for the good. <laughs> See, it's prayers that we don't even know that our great, great, great grandmothers and great, great grandfathers and grandmoms and grandpas and aunties, how they prayed and so forth. And you think that those prayers, see those prayers are stored up. God will remember those prayers and, and, and God will be mindful of when they prayed and who they prayed for. God will remember. Yes, he will. God will remember everything that you do, every tear that you cry, everything. Oh yes. He's not unjust. He's not unjust. Oh, yes. God is not going to forget oh, yes. what he has said, what, what, what he's reminded of, or, 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 or what you remind God of, of, of his word. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. My God, God will remember. God will remember. He said, remember me, oh my God, concerning this, and do not wipe out my good deeds that I have done for the house of my God and for his service. Don't get tired of working for God. Come on now. We never get tired of working for the devil, but when it comes to God, we get tired, we get wore out, we get discouraged, we ready to throw in the towel. But the devil can wear us out. The devil can give us black eyes and, and all type of things, but we still keep getting up on him. But for God, we say, no, 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 I'm tired today. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. But, but at the same time, Nehemiah say, God, remember me of the good that I've done. Amen. Oh, yes. God going to remember everything that you've done. If it was picking up paper oh, yes. in his house, oh, if it was sweeping the floor, oh, my God. If it was singing, if it was praying, if it, if it was just worshiping God, oh, yes. magnifying God, serving God, giving into God's house, God going to remember it. Amen. Oh, not weary. Oh, yes. You cannot grow weary in well-doing, for in due season you shall reap if you faint not. It's always a due season, you, but you got to keep on going. You, you can't faint. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. My God. In Psalms 106, he said, remember me, O Lord, in your favor towards your people. Visit me with your salvation. Oh, yes. God will remember. God going to remember his people. Yes. Don't you get discouraged about what you see going on in the world. God going to remember you. You on God's mind. Yes. He's going to be mindful of you. He's going to recall what you have done. Yes. 
You on God's mind. Oh, yeah, that's good. God will remember you. Oh, yeah. you, you, you see, we, we have some before us. That's why he said we got a great cloud of witnesses oh, yes. that have already went before us. Remember Noah? Come on. Come on now. God remember Noah. remember Noah. Genesis 8 and 1. Then God remember Noah remember and Noah. every living thing and all the animals that were with him. The ark and God made a wind to pass over the earth and the waters came to peace. It stopped. He remembered Noah. Oh, yeah. If he did it then and he did it for Noah, what make you think God won't do it for you? If God did it for Noah. Oh, yeah. God, God protected Noah. He told Noah what to do. Noah was obedient. Noah built the ark. Hi, yeah, yeah. When God told him it was going to rain and it was going to be a flood, Noah, he told him what animals to take on, but God didn't forget Noah. Oh, yes. he, he remembered Noah. Yes. His faithfulness. Oh, yeah. You got to know that God is faithful. Yeah. And sometimes when we're unfaithful, God is faithful. Oh, yeah. He's faithful. Yeah. Remember Abraham and Lot in Genesis 19 and 29? He said, and it came to pass when God destroyed the city of the plain that God remembered Abraham and sent Lot out of the midst of the overthrow. Then the then overthrew the city in which Lot had well. And Sodom and Gomorrah, God remembered Abraham's faithfulness and how Abraham really cried out for Lot. Oh, yeah. God remembered God him. Remembers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yes, Lord. Remember Rachel? See, God remembered Rachel. Oh, yeah. Leo was studying having children and Rachel, she couldn't have no children, but God remembered Rachel. Oh, yeah. He said in Genesis 32, 30, 22, the Lord remember Rachel and God listened to her and opened up her womb. Yes. God began to get, let her have birth. See, you got to know and got to look back and sometimes you got to look back over your own life. A lot of times I got to look back over my own life and I got to go back down memory lane. But I say, God, remember this. But God, see, sometimes when you forget, God still remember. God already know. God already see everything. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He already see. My God. Woo! Remember Hannah? God remember Hannah. Oh, yes. Hannah couldn't have no children either. But Hannah went in there and cried out unto God. And God began to, God opened her womb. God began to give where she's able to give birth. God will remember everything that we do, no matter what. You, got, you cannot give up. Yes. You cannot take your eyes off of God. Even at times when you feel like you want to give up, but Nehemiah say, God, remember me. Remember me, God. Remember me, God. And God will remember you. He will remember your service. He will remember your deeds, your, your labors, your achievements, your performance. In him, God will remember. He will remember. God will be mindful and he will recall everything that you have done for him and in his house. God will remember. Oh, yeah. Yes, he will. Yes, God he will. will remember. Yes, he will. He said, remember me, oh my God, concerning this. And do not wipe out my good deeds that I have done for the house of my God. He said, don't wipe it out every time Nehemiah did something. Every time Nehemiah was faced with something, he said, God, remember. He said, remember me. Remember me, God. Don't, 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 don't blind eye me, God, but look upon me. Remember me, God. Remember, God. Remember when I gave. Remember, God, when I served. Remember, God, when, when, when I was in position, when didn't nobody else want to be in position. God, remember, God. Remember, God, when I sacrificed, oh, God. Remember me, God. See, you have to tell God, God, remember me, God. Remember the many nights, God, crying out for family to be saved, God. Remember me, oh, God. Remember, God, that I prayed and I cried out for salvation, oh, God. Remember me, God. He will oh, yes. remember you. Oh, yes. The Lord will remember you. Yes, yes. Don't be discouraged. And don't think that it's over with. Because it's taken so long. The Lord will remember you. Yes. It's a due season. Oh, yes. It's a time. Oh God. It's a due season. Oh, yes. Whatever's due to you is going to happen. But you have to already receive.
see that thing, and when it manifests, uh, yeah, 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 because it's already there. God have already, God have already placed it there. It's just we can't see it yet. Amen. We can't see it yet, but God is faithful. He is faithful. God will remember everything that you have done, every tear that you have cried. He collect them in a bottle. God already see everything. He already know everything. Oh yes. Just know that the Lord, He will remember you. Oh yes. Hallelujah. Go go to Hezekiah. I left one off. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And Second Kings. Hallelujah, Jesus. I got to give you this one. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Has, uh, Second King, the 20th chapter. In those days, Hezekiah was sick and near death. And Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, went to him and said to him, Thus saith the Lord, set your house in order. For you shall die and not live. Then he turned his face towards the wall and prayed to the Lord, saying, Remember now, O Lord, I pray how I pray how I have walked before you in truth and with a lower heart, and have done what was good in your sight. And Hezekiah wept bitterly. And it happened before Isaiah had gone out into the midst court, in the middle of the court. That the word of the Lord came to him saying, return and tell Hezekiah, the leader of my people, thus said the Lord God of David, your father, I have heard your prayer. Uh -huh. I have seen your tears. Uh -huh. Surely I will heal you. On the third day, you shall go up to the house of the Lord and I will add to you. Your days, 15 years, and I will deliver you oh, yes. in this city. Oh, yes. Look, we serve a faithful God. Oh, yes. Here it go, Hezekiah the king. He had he had got sick. Uh -huh. He was near death. Uh -huh. But here go the prophet Isaiah. Uh -huh. Isaiah go to tell Hezekiah to get his house in order because he was about to die. Oh, yes. But look, when he got the bad news, sometimes we need to grab hold on what to do when you get the bad news. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, this was a this was a prophecy that wasn't no good prophecy, oh, yes. but it was the truth. Oh, yes. But what he done turned that where God turned him, changed his mind. When Hezekiah heard that uh, as I, his, um, Isaiah told him to get his house in order, okay, then he turned his face towards the wall. He turned his face towards the wall and prayed to the Lord. See, he knew what to do. He turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord. He said, remember now, O Lord, I pray. How I have walked before you in truth and with a loyal heart and have done what was good in your sight. And then Hezekiah wept bitterly. He turned from the people. He turned whatever else that was going on. Even the word that he just had got. But he turned to the wall and he began to pray unto God and tell God, God, remember my words, God. Yes. Remember God, how I served you, how I have been Lord unto you. When he turned to cross, he turned. Oh, yes. Because when he made that turn to the wall, oh, yes. that bad prophecy turned. Oh, yes. <laughs> it turned. Oh, yes. It turned. It touched God's heart. Oh yes. Because you're telling God, God, oh, you can't forget me, God. Oh yes. All that I've done in your kingdom, God. He said, Don't forget me, God. Oh, my loyal heart, God. He said, Don't forget. He began to cry. I'm talking about bitterly. He began to weep. And it happened before Isaiah had gone out into the middle court. That the word of the Lord came to him saying, return and tell Hezekiah, the leader of my people. Oh. Thus said the Lord, the God of David, your father, I have heard your prayer I've heard and I've seen your... Look, before Isaiah got out the court, he was in the middle of the court. This had to be a prophet that was very sensitive oh, yes. in the spirit. Oh, yes. Because sometimes when you give a word, you give that word.
word and you going to you, that's it. Because you know that word don't came from God, so you ain't you ain't got nothing to add to it, you ain't finna change it, you ain't finna, you know, no matter how it sounds. But when he got in the middle of the court, God told him, Hey, go tell Hezekiah. Turn around. He said, Turn around. Turn. Because when Hezekiah turned to the wall, oh, yes. God oh. turned. Oh, yes. God turned that situation around. Oh, yes. And God turned the prophet around. Oh, yes. He said, Now you went and gave that word. Now go back and give this word. Oh, yes. So when he went back to give that word, he told him to return. He said, Return and tell Hezekiah the leader of my people. Oh, <laughs> Thus says the Lord. The God of David, your, your father, I have heard your prayers. See, God, hear our prayers. I have seen your tears. Surely, I will heal you. God said, I'm going to heal you. Oh, yes. He said, on the third day, you shall go up to the house of the Lord, and I will add to your days 15 years. Look, God gave him the word, and when God gave him the word and told him, what to do or what he was going to do. God said, I'm going to heal you. But then God turned around and gave him instruction. God said, on the third day, you shall go up to the house. He said, when you go to the house of the Lord on the third day, he said, and I will add to your days 15 years. If Hezekiah wouldn't have obeyed the instruction that God had given him, God said, on the third day, go to the house of the Lord. And I'm going to add 15 more years unto your life. He said, I'm going to heal you. It ain't nothing your enemies going to do. Assyria can't do anything. He said, I got you. I'm going to deliver you from your enemy's God hand. Remember. God remembered him. Oh, yeah. God remembered his works. God remembered everything that Hezekiah had done. And you have to know, his life was extended. Because God remembered. Yes. You can't think that it's over. Hezekiah was near death. He was sick. He was already sick. But when he turned to the wall and he turned unto God, God turned that situation around. So it don't matter what we going through or what it looked like, you got to know that God going to remember me. I just believe that God going to remember me. God going to remember your works. God going to remember every time you pray. God going to remember every seed you sown. God is going to remember. And you got to know that God will remember. God Amen. will remember. Yes, Lord. Good word. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Come on, missionary reporter. Open it up.